does it take to get to one of these? It's color theory time, people. Woo! I can unusually see like all the way into your mouth when you were yelling there. That was weird. You want to do it again? No, I'm going to use that one. And do you have paint on your face already? I don't know. Do I? For God's sakes. I don't know. Do I have paint on my face already? Hello. Are we yes, going to like... I, am we, I on? I, yeah, you're on. <laughs> I'm too excited. You're dumb. Okay, so first of all, look at this pile of paint, my peeps, okay? We're going to sell some paint, okay? Because I might have a problem because I have all of this paint and I have all that wall over there and it's a lot. Oh, for God's sakes! The other thing is I'm so excited about... It's not Fan Mail Friday yet, but look at this package. Look at this package. It says Royal Mail, which means I'm a queen. That's pretty sure what I'm pretty sure that's. I don't think that's. No, I think it means I'm a queen. I don't think, queen Rio. I don't think that's. Queen what it Rio means. and the butler says. The butler. The butler says. <laughs> you have so paint on your that. face. Do I? Yeah, you do. Wait. That or somebody's hit you in the face. It's right here. Is there? Other side. Are there? Yeah. Is it paint? I think it is. That or it's a really it's dark. Pink. Look at your thumb. Your thumb on your left hand. Is it like dark? Oh, it's ink from the paper, from all of the. Oh, um, that's I've what it is. Nice. That's real nice. This is nice. This, this is really nice. Is it still there? Yeah. Is it still there? Yep. Is it still there? Yep. We're gonna play this game for like all day. Is it still there? Yep. I don't care. How about that? How about Rio does not give one shiitake about the ink on her nose. I don't care. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm a queen. I got royal mail. I can't open this until fan mail Friday. If Which is actually going to be send, like Thursday. If you guys want to send some packages to the Rio and Say Show, you can do that at the P.O. Box below. Say this means that you have to put the P.O. Box here. You know how to do that, right? We have the right new, here. We have the new computer, so right I have to program that Queen in. Rio gets to open this later. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm putting it in a P.O. box. Leave me alone. Please don't say anything. Please don't say anything? <laughs> Do I got it? I, I got some stuff there. I don't know what happened. Okay, so I am going to see. We're going to start doing this. You guys need to learn how to make color. Make your own colors instead of trying to find and You a need to learn how to not be so dumb. You need to shut your pie face when I'm talking. Ooh. Do you hear the crowds? Okay, for just a minute. We've been doing these live shows for the last three weekends in a row, and our fans are the best fans in the whole damn world. It's true, it's true, it's true. Now, we have taken so many orders for paintings that my head is spinning around and around like this when you can't see that, because, you know, you don't want to see that. It's very ugly. Um, and so, some of you have placed an order, but not put in your note who you are or what you bought. So, there's a little confusion. So if you have not gotten your package yet, for one, don't start emailing me yet because they're being they're, they start everything starts shipping out tomorrow. Two, we had to varnish a whole bunch of stuff, and the weather's been wanky here, and so I didn't want to package something and then have you open it and have the paint peel off the canvas. So On top you of had that, to wait a little longer. If you, Three, if you ordered a kit for from the last round of kits and you did not receive it, you send you, you Rio an email. Sending me yeah, because we get we get to issue a couple of refunds because some of you peeps did not get your kits. Not my fault, but it happened. So we just need to issue you a refund. And uh, the next time around, we're doing everything through Square. So that yeah, can... we've got the new website up and running. So we're gonna start putting everything on there because then it's all in one place, one place, and you can talk to me from there and buy things from there and buy kids from there and I can ship from right there. It'll be a freaking miracle because what we've been doing for the last four months is kind of a train wreck through PayPal. Anyway, I just think, I don't even know. Okay, so I have all of this paint right here. It's craziness. So back to the shipping out of the stuff. Um, if you ordered something and haven't paid for it yet, um, let me know when you're going to do that because it's, there's a whole lot of stuff floating around and we got to get this wrapped up because we're trying to get the camera bought is what we're trying to do. Pay for all these supplies and get the camera bought. If you guys want to buy some of these, some of this paint, I am more than happy to sell it to you for what I purchased it for so we can get our supplier paid off and start all over with that craziness so I can keep doing what I'm doing here. 
Um, send me an email let me know about that because I have pretty much every color except for the metallics and I'll order the metallics on the next round. Live events. We are doing the live events on pretty much Friday, Saturday, Sundays now. Um, this weekend we are going to do a fire sale to um, get you through your uh, Christmas shopping. So if you guys are interested in joining us for that, we will be live by um, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, are we going to go 5 o'clock? Yeah, we'll probably go 5 on Saturday and Sunday because it's just easier. Or earlier on Sunday. Um, so we'll be in the afternoons on Saturday and Sunday and we'll go later on Friday so everybody has a chance to get off work and get home and whatever. Anyway, so, and then um, December the 8th, you guys, keep that on your calendar because December the 8th we have a really special thing going on. We are actually having people come into the studio to paint with us. So, and you're going to get to see that. So there's going to be about 10 people here. We have a birthday celebration going on and none of them have ever mixed their own paint or poured their own paint and all of them are going to pour paint and you guys are going to get to see it and we're going to do it live and it's going to be right here. Our wait, live wait, 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 wait. Like right here? Right here and over there and behind me and this will all be set up. We're going to have a fire going if it's warm enough. The studio will be all decorated for Christmas. It'll be wonderful. Let's go. I have um, things to do. One more question. What's that? When are you going to do the realism stuff? We're going to, oh, we're going to, we're, we're, I know I keep telling you that, but, um, we got to get the camera gear, guys. We have got to. This camera is like at its max capacity and I know we keep saying it, but that's what we're waiting for. All of you sponsors that have sponsored us the last four months, you guys are amazeballs. If you have sponsored us, um, we just want to say thank you. Because this donated. is because you, you have just made this possible. Sponsored, donated, purchased, painted. Purchased donated. art, all of it. It all matters. It all counts right back to all of this. That's what this says. Um, anything with the art stuff does not go into my personal household. It also it does occasionally keep the electric company company from turning off our lights. So well, that has happened a couple of times. We did have to take a little bit of this money and pay the electric bill, but that was that. Anyway, most of what you guys send to us <laughs> sees in this area of the. Of wait, 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 wait! Like this area. <laughs> No, like this area. Oh, so not here, no, but not over here. No, not here, but like here. So but not maybe here, here. But here. You're but confusing here. me. Okay, let's do this. What are we doing? We are going to, I'm teaching you guys, we're going to do one or the other. Okay. Which one do I want to do? We're going to like, I, I like that one. Say it's like Say it's like this one? Yes. Fine. So we're going to fold this over and hopefully the colors are good. peeps so it's a map it's a road map every color is a road map of how to get from where you got to start to where you want to be where we want to be is these four colors right here what I'm going to do today is teach you where to start so that you can get to the end result of these colors and then we're going to do a pour and see how they do together let's check let's do this all of my color mixing gets done in a master's touch um, a master what is this called <laughs> Master Sun, is that what it's called? Yeah, a Master Sun color palette. Uh, pal. Because I, I don't know if they're the best. I don't even care about all of that. What I love about them is the fact that they, come they have with a paper lid. And the, this particular one here, the red t label, the red lidded one, the red lidded is lidded a. The one with the red lid, there we go, comes with paper in it now. And a sponge. And a sponge, ready to go. <coughs> now, this one has already been used numerous times. Heavily. So, I buy extra sponges, which are these Stay Wet sponges, and these are the bomb. And the way the that this bomb. works is... Tear it open, 40 degree angle. I just a Tear all this poop open here, and the sponge is goes in the bottom, just like this. Uh -huh. And then this goes in the trash. Did so you see that thing? So that was in the can trash thing. End up in the ocean. And then one of these pieces of paper goes on top of that, like that. Really? And then you take this and then I take magical. The water. That's our magical. This uh, is our magical rhino urine concoction, and that gets poured directly in there, just like that. 
and then you let it soak for 14 to 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, you're actually supposed to soak the paper in warm water by itself and then, you know, put it in here. Um, I've been doing this long enough that I don't really follow all of those directions. So doing it long enough prevents so, you to not follow the rules. Yeah, right? if you know what you're doing, you don't necessarily have to follow the suggested rules. Because, you know, manufacturer's guidelines are for people who don't know what the hell they're doing. Okay. So my palette is slick. I've poured off the excess water. You don't want this soupy. You just need it to be damp, okay? And so my sponge is wet underneath it, which is going to keep this paper wet, which in turn keeps the paint from drying out. So if you have to work a little bit longer, you can. So let's start with the top one here. The top well, one... That looks black to me. Is well, it black? No, it's not black. Are you sure? Says. No. I have opted to use the Amsterdam colors today because um, you guys have been requesting less expensive paint, less expensive paint, less expensive paint, and I don't use the Apple Barrel or House Paint and all of that other stuff. So Cracker Barrel. So this is no, I don't think they sell paint. Are you they sure? sell they sell okra, fried okra, and uh. and chicken fried steak. That's what you get at Cracker Barrel and Rice Krispie treats that weigh ten pounds in the gift shops. They have really cool stuff there, though. I I'm like to shop there. We should there. like stop filming and go to Cracker Barrel. Then. You should stop filming. You hungry? I'm hungry. Yeah. Now we're going to the Elms of Film. Oh my God! After this, no, I can't tell you. No, we'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, so so this is definitely a blue. This is another blue. This is a cool coral, and this is a lighter peachy yellow coral color here. If you have the dog so, pops that pokes his head up, huh? the dog's like what? Okay, uh -huh. so I'm gonna start with my right? darkest blue here. In all sure reality, black. If I was look what I did, I just got water on this. Oh, nice. I know. If I was working with golden, I'd go straight to Payne's gray, but I'm not. So we're gonna go to Prussian blue, and we're gonna see what this Prussian blue looks like. So I'm gonna put a little squeeze of Prussian oh, blue wow. right there. Okay, so I want to pull a little bit of this color out so I can kind of see where we are. And to be honest. I'm going to put a little bit of it right there. Okay, so that tells me a couple of things. This is still not quite the right color. And it's super transparent. Well, yeah, it is super transparent. So I'm going to move some of this Prussian blue over because my next thought is I've got to get to this blue somehow. Okay? Well, rather than... This is a higher value of this color. That's all it is, is a higher value. But it also has probably a couple other things mixed in with it. So rather than go to titanium white, I'm going to grab a little bit of this sky blue light and I'm going to put a little bit of that on the canvas or on the palette right here. Uh -huh. and we're going to do this. We're going to, I'm going to pull a little bit of that over here and a little bit of this right here. And I'm going to see what this does. And I use the palette knife because that way I'm not screwing up my brushes and it's easier to pull a bead of color. Okay, now let's do that. So we've 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 made a comparison there. Now, in my opinion, this is too blue and needs more green. It needs more green in it. So to get that green, I'm gonna add a little bit of the turquoise blue. Are you guys taking notes? Am I going too fast? Can you keep up? Are you freaking out? I am always freaking out. What is she doing? We can't see it. That one's about empty. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of this turquoise and I'm wow, going to that add color that does here. not look anything like that on the. Yeah, they literally look the same. I can't tell the difference on the camera. Well, you can tell the difference there. Yeah. Let me focus. Okay, so second attempt at this lighter blue, higher value blue from the Prussian blue. That blue, the um, light one. We've added some turquoise into it to green it up a bit. Now, I don't want to ruin that color, so instead of adding titanium white, I'm going to add zinc white to this. And we're gonna, I'm going to attempt to get enough of that mixed, that then we can put a little bit of that in the cup and prepare for the pour. And I'm just mixing and mixing and mixing my color. Okay, so third attempt here. Where are we at? Oh my goodness. Getting close. 
yeah, in my opinion, it needs a little more green, which takes me to, I'm going to grab an aqua. Potato. Potatoes. She's going to grab a potato. Oh, potato. I think we're potato, still potato. not quite. Green enough? Well, it lacks just a little bit of green. So rather than break out. I think out, there's not enough contrast So I'm going to add a color. tiny bit of the turquoise green to this. Uh-huh. If I can get it out of here. Because it's still a little too much on the baby blue, and I want the green in there for the. So I'm going to grab just that much. I mean, just a tiny bit. You guys, you got to do this in small increments. And let's roll that around in all this mixture here, and see if we have finally created happy little trees. Created happy little. Oh, I'm so good. That's it. Let's see. It. Let's see. There it is. It. There it is. That is a perfect match. Boom! That's how it's done. Scrape this up. Okay. Let me just one say one thing. It does not quite look like it on the camera. But? But it is in... The new the new camera will show it, but this one can't. But, but it, it is, is an exact match. It is an exact match. And it's not completely mixed. Which is also part of the problem, but it is an exact match. So I'm going to scrape this up off of the table and put it in my cup. Okay. So that blue is done. Uh -huh. Super excited about that. I did, look, I want to show you guys how much paint we're using to mix here. Yeah, we're going to probably get That's two it. paintings out of this. That's all we're okay, using. So, See that? so we have used Prussian blue. To start, we use a I little need, bit of the sky blue. I can't see light. that. I need you to stop and let me focus. Okay. Okay, so we used the base of Prussian blue to get to this color of blue here. Prussian blue. And then we used, then I put some of the sky blue light in it from Amsterdam. And got my, my higher value started there. It needed to be a little bit greener, so I added some turquoise blue, and then I realized, and then I added my zinc white, which increased, but it's brought up the value, but didn't bring the value up on it like titanium would. It still is going to leave it transparent and really nice because that zinc is a transparent white, and it still was just not quite enough to the green. When I compared the notes here, it was still a little too baby blue for me, and I wanted that turquoisey green in there to go with the uh, cool that we're going to be making. So I added a little bit of the turquoise green to that mixture and ended up coming up with an exact match. It is absolutely exact match. So wait, like on an to... exact match or? Dude, like I'm the queen. Okay. It's, it's, it's an exact match. Next color. Okay. So I'm going to clean off the palette knife because we don't want anything on that palette knife contaminating any of the other paint. Like your face. Like your face, says. So, I'm also, let's play with the, um, let's play with that, uh, stuff there for a minute. The, the Prussian blue. I think I'm just going to use it straight. Yeah, actually, that's a lie. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you a trick. Okay. So... I need to lower the intensity. You guys are just going to have to bear with me because I'm using the real technical terms here. I don't talk about warm and cool. I don't talk about lighter or darker. I talk about value and I talk about intensity. So the um, this blue straight out of the tube is as intense as it's going to be. It comes really, really, really far forward. It's going to come really far forward in the painting itself. So what I'm going to do is, I already have a suspicion that I'm going to be using some of this naphthol red light, which is really an orange, even though it's called a red. So the complementary color of the Prussian blue is going to be an orange. And I am going to choose this naphthol. I'm going to put this naphthol over here. Chase, can you see this? So I've got the naphthol, naphthol red light rolling right here. Okay. What I need to do, so I can put this Prussian blue in the cup, this blue is really, really, really intense. I need to take a tiny sliver, and I mean a tiny sliver of that orange, and I'm going to put it in that blue. Can I move the camera real quick? Yep. And what that's going to do is just knock it down a bit. 
and I'm going to see if I can show you a comparison here. This is straight out of the tube. No, you're not going to be able to see no, this. No, it needs to be like idea. right here. Okay. So I'm going to grab another tiny little sliver of that orange, just about that much. I mean, it's just a minuscule amount. Less is more in all of this. For one, we don't want to turn this green. An orange has yellow in it, so it could go green. All I'm trying to do is knock that paint down so that it sits down in the painting and doesn't come in front of all these other colors. And so once I've gotten that mixed, I'm going to scrape that off of my canvas and put it in a cup. And at this point, I believe that I have successfully mixed the color on the thing. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Look at that. There she be. That's it. Part of the other problem is That's that our printer is old and needs to be replaced. Well, we'll Hashtag need new printer. Hashtag our electronic devices are just sucky. Except for the okay, phone. That's let's just cool. go. Let's so we've got the two blues mixed. They're in the cup. All they lack is Floetrol and silicone. We're, we've got them matched perfectly now. So now let's move on to Carl. Everybody knows, well, or maybe you don't know, that I don't coral know. is like an orange and a yellow, orange and a pink, Tell you me. know, red and some and some yellow, and Tell then, me. you know, a higher value add and some white or whatever. I don't understand. I'm going to start with orange? the, yellow. the yellow. red, red, naphthol red light in um, Amsterdam. Okay. And I'm going to attempt to get to this coral starting with that color. Uh-huh. Now, this has a little more pink in it, Does so it? we're going to add some Venetian rose. I love this color. I love this color. I'm also thinking that Naples Yellow Light. Naples Yellow is a very low intensity yellow, very low intensity yellow. And mm -hmm. we need to keep these colors on the same intensity level as the color chart that we're working from. So rather than use white, because white is not your best friend in all of this mixing, we're going to try this. So where do you want me to mix? Right here, say? Uh, yeah. So I'm going to take a little bit of this orange, uh -huh. which is really good. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Naphthol red light in Amsterdam. Uh -huh. Then I'm going to take the Venetian. Uh, oh, pretty. And we're going to start making uh -huh. some some paint babies over uh -huh. here with this. That looks like a orange still. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that just went coral really fast. It did, didn't it? Okay, some more Venetian here. That's well, not a really pretty color of coral. Okay, now let's compare notes so far with where we are. So we've we've mixed the naphthol red light uh -huh. and the Venetian rose. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So let's see what our base color is. Uh -huh. Ooh. Well, it's okay. A little dark. Now that's the same color, but it needs to be a higher value. Do not grab titanium white. We're not using it. I'm gonna clean off my knife because I don't want to contaminate my nap my Naples yellow light. Yeah, Naples Yellow Light. Can't see that. I'm just focused in on the paint. Okay. And I'm going to grab this right here, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to start moving this around and see how close we get. Oh, my Lord. I'm a freaking genius. Did you look up a tutorial on how to do this before you mm -hmm. did this? No. I've been mixing paint for 32 years. Ah. Uh, you're just that good. I am that good. All it's, that. It's so true. when they buy a painting from you, they are literally buying... 32 years of experience. And all that and a so bag of let's, chips. So I'm going to bring this over here. Shall we touch it? Okay. Rio did another test even though she didn't listen to me. But here you go. There's Thank that. You. Well, that's going to dry a little bit darker. So I'm going to grab just a little bit more of this. Oh, are you? Of this Naples. And I'm coming straight into it right here. That's going to give me a little higher value on this. Okay. Does that mean it's worth more? Yeah, uh, yeah, it, that does mean it's worth uh, more. Okay. It means it's a lighter color. So much to do. You more on the value does not mean the price. Go. Let's see if we got it now. We got a little bit of, of that uh, dark color in there. Yeah, I had like I accidentally touched but it. But that does do's and deeds. When you put it on the thing and you can't see the difference, there it is. There's that color. And if you're saying to yourself, "What well, I can see a difference, squint your eyes. 
Well, if you're saying to yourself you can see a difference, buy us a new camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, because um, that's that's dead on. It is absolutely if you blur the same your, color. If you blur your vision, the colors blend in together. And you can blur your vision with tequila. That's what I. That's my uh, choice of vision blurring. So now let's scrape all this. And we're just gonna put it in the cup. In the cup. Blurry cup. Another you have reason why that I used. Made? I think so. Okay. Maybe not. So. The next color is a lighter, lighter, lighter coral. In fact, it almost really looks like a creamy beige, but it's really, it, 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 it's a derivative of the coral that we just made. So what I'm gonna do is take, I just mixed some more of that coral right here just to make sure I had enough, and I'm gonna squirt the Naples yellow light directly into that um, palette right there. Are you gonna clean and off the And I'm gonna brush? use a little bit more. No, I'm not gonna clean off my Palette knife. My palette knife. Now, because we always use more of the white color in every pour, I'm going to make more of this. And I'm going to use a dirty knife, and I'm going to come in, and I'm just going to stain that Naples yellow with a little bit of that coral mixture. It's a little too high value. Okay. Going back in, I've grabbed a little bit more of that coral mixture because we just need to knock it down a little bit. It's a little too intense. It's a little too much of the white showing out in that. Just waiting on your comparison. I get some blue in it accidentally. All right, let's try. Okay, she did the thing. With the thing. Moved it, made it blurry. So here you go. That there. Final finished result. It's still not quite right. Okay. Give me a minute oh. to make it some uh, adjustment here. That's gonna be not. Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a little tiny bit more of that, add a tiny bit. Okay, what I did was I took some of the Prussian blue, put a little bit of that um, naphthol red light into it, and I made kind of a brown yucky color. And when I say a little bit, I mean there was barely a, a, an ink drop of each color. And then I mixed it with a little bit of the uh, the uh, the Naples um, yellow light and the coral left over so that I got a, a it's more of a, a green um, more of a green tint to the uh, here I'm just gonna show you okay, now go. so when you add that blue and orange mixture this is where it goes it goes to to a, to a, a more blue more blue than the orange on the off-white there what I want to do is come in and add um, a just a, a bead of that into my master mixture just to bring that color down to where I want it because it's still a little crazy. And there it is. I can see already that it dropped. The intensity of it dropped is going to sit right back down onto that piece of paper instead of coming off the page and being in front of the color swatch. So one more time, there we are. <gasps> you are a genius. It worked. <laughs> that was beautiful, Sace. That was just that was a lovely tribute to. Thank me. you. So let's get all this in the cup. Blurry cup again. Did you read and listen to instructions. Okay, colors mixed. Well, and I've cleaned off. I've got master paint in the jars. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to pull this palette, set it out of the way so we can get to work. And oh my goodness, let's set up a canvas so we can pour some paint here. Wait, did you just pull that canvas out of thin air? I did. I pulled it out from underneath here. My mask, my lovely shells that Mr. Andy made for me. So let's get a little flow trial on these babies, shall we? 
first of all, let's let me point out that I've never I don't think I've done a pour with only four colors before, so we'll see how this goes. Um, we're gonna start with adding a little bit of flow trawl to each one of these. Does flow trawl mess with the uh Q value or intensity of the It paint. will raise the value just slightly, but as these dry on this card, they're going to dry just a little bit darker, so I've compensated for that a bit. So, um, again, I've got more of the creamy color than I do Ugh. the uh, other colors, uh -huh. so I've got a little bit more on those. Uh -huh. So let's just give these a stir here and see where we are. Cut. Let's stir that coral and see where we are. I'm probably going to edit out your voice. I'm just going to show you stern. And just yell coral at the base. I need some more flow trawl on that. It's too thick. It's perfect though, right? Mm-hmm. Are you going to edit all of the words out right here? I might. Because there was some dead air space right Jingle there. bells, jingle bells. Well, you could play the jingle bells back I'm not something. doing it. I'll find some like, you know, very electronic, dope beat-ish things. Oh yeah, you and your dope beats say. I'm really excited to see how this is going to go. I don't care. Um, I'm going to add a gold into this because it's just not my, in my nature to not have some something metallic -y in this. Really? Yeah, I can't do it. I just got to gotta have something in there. So then you have to ask yourself, Brio, are you going to use a gold by Amsterdam or by Golden? I'm out of gold by Amsterdam, so it's going to be a golden gold. Oh. Okay, we're disappointed now. The, we've raised the value. It's a lighter color on the Prussian blue. However, that flow trail is going to dry clear, so this is going to darken up and be just as dark as the original color. So do not adjust this color, even though it no longer looks like the color I've mixed. It will dry true. It will dry true. Is that a song? I don't know. Is it? Should it be a song? Could it be a song? I think it should be a song. I think you should It'll dry true. It'll dry true. I'm so excited for Fan Mail Friday. I got a royal box because I was a queen. I think you're just dumb, but okay. Mm -hmm. I got to go decorate a Christmas tree at the Elms. I'm so excited about that, too. I got to do that as soon as I get done with this. Auctioning off skins now. Somebody buy it. It looks cool. Make jewelry with it or, you know, just keep it in your pocket. Say, sure is dumb. Say, okay, hey. let's make a little bit of gold here, hey, guys. I original. want a little bit of gold. These uh, we're going to need some more uh, cuppies. Tables? Some more Tables. cuppies. Cuppies, cuppies, Tables. cuppies. Tables. How about this? How about I just use some mica mix? Infused. That looks kind of chunky. It is a little chunky, but it's okay. I'm, I'm going to add some flow trawl to that. Trawl flow? Trawl flow, yeah. I'm gonna call this one Rio. This is color Wednesday, color theory. Is this color theory Wednesday? This is just color theory. I'm teaching you people how to make I paint. I think we should do color theory Wednesday. I think that like we should do three or four color theories a week because this is fun, okay. and then you they'll they'll start to understand how color works. Okay. And it'll be beautiful. So I've got a little shimmer in there. We've got five colors rolling. I say we get to this pour. Say stop throwing things on my canvanito. I'm gonna have to beat you. Bring it, bro. So this is a little bit of baby eight by eight here. So I think we can probably get away with just two cups. No, it doesn't work. They usually flip over and then everything just falls to. You're shy. right. That feels a little um. That feels a little not level, so... Okay, so Rio is very fast-paced at this. I'm not going to try to show you guys the inside of the cup because it requires a lot of stopping and refocusing. So if you want to see that cool in-cup shot, then... I'm going to dribble some silicone in this. You have to wait. One, Bloop. two, one... Bloop. Two... 
These are a little Loop. heavier because the Loop. you know they've got obviously already Loop. a lot of titanium in Loop. them. Loop. 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 So sound I've effects. done two drops. You can buy that sound effect on YouTube for like four dollars per loop. I think there's a fly in my interference. I swear I just saw something in there. Like he flew into the master cup and died and I didn't see him. I swear. Maybe I'm just seeing things and I don't even know. Okay, let's do this people. Gotta start with the creamy color. Uh huh. Then we're gonna do a little what say? Carl! That's so I just awesome. want you to know that it hurts me my throat when I do that. Oh, there's a chunk in there. I think I poured it out into that. Now let's grab some of this sky blue color that I made. Coral! That's not coral, sorry. No, that's not coral. A little bit Carl! of this creamy color. Oh, that's cream? Sorry. Let's get Carl! That's blue, sorry again. A little bit of that blue. I we don't want a ton of that I, blue, I, I don't I get think. Excited. Coral. That's kind of chunky. Chunky monkey. Chunky monkey. Mm hmm. Chunky monkey. Okay, so. So, what are you gonna do? You're gonna do a flip. You're gonna do a port. Rio. Rio. I think I'm gonna flip it. Oh. I'm gonna add a little more coral because I just love that color. All right. Okay. Place it with a little bit more of that. All right. Ready to flip? It's already doing some beautiful things. Let's flip this baby. That's lovely, Sice. Thanks. That's lovely. I feel like I have fans now. There's some of that dark color coming through. That is awesome. All right, let's move this around a little bit here. See if we can't get some more of that blue to show up. We got some really pretty cells. Really pretty cells on this one. I might have to pour another one. We'll go a little heavier on the blue to see if we can get a little different effect. I think it looks nice. It'd be nice if you pointed it towards the camera though so we could see It's it. hard for me to pour the paint off the edge towards the camera. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get the edges covered here. My name's Rio Torres and I think I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Just admit it. I also think I may have put too much silicone in those cups. <laughs> Cause they are a little loosey goosey and they're brand new. Okay, there's that one. I can't help it. I'm gonna pour one right next to it. Give me a sec. I'm gonna grab another canvas. It looks so cool. So I'm gonna do another one with a little less of the white, a little more of the darker colors, and just see what happens. Cause I have a lot of this blue left over. Rio, how do you do it? Well, I do it like this. I pick the cup up and I tip it. Okay? I tip it. I tip it all the way over. Do you ever add spit? Do I ever add spit? Mm -hmm. Mom's spit is sacred. You don't just put that shit on everything, okay? It's um. sacred. I'm going to add some more coral because I'd like to go ahead and get rid of all of this paint. I hope you guys are excited about this because I... This will open worlds to you that, that you've, you've not been able to get to because you didn't know how to make paint. I am super excited on your behalf about me breaking open all the secrets of how to make paint. So this swatch was like from house paint, okay? And we just matched colors from Amsterdam, one of the most reasonably priced paints on the planet. 
Exactly to those swatches. And so, for the price, in my opinion, they're it, seriously. Are I mean, excellent. like you're gonna pay like three or four dollars for a tube of this, and you use a teeny tiny amount. You guys saw how much paint I used. It's minimal. So most of this is Floetrol that's in this cup. Let's try it now. Let's see what this does. Hold and on. I think Cut. video. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of this just through here because I want a little variation, I guess. Uh huh. Well, and I also don't want to waste any paint because you guys uh, whine about me wasting paint. <laughs> whining and whining about me wasting the paint. Okay, so there's all that out there. And then when I'm done, I'll float some of this, what's left over interference in that. Oh my god, it got even cooler. I didn't even think that was going to be possible from the first one. That is seriously amazing, you guys. Holy cow, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at those colors. Gee, says, thanks for teaching Rio how to do color theory so that we can film it for you. <laughs> Don't even worry about it, guys. You know, just now, what they what need, need to be doing is sending Miss K love letters to Griffith Fine Arts Gallery in Salado, Texas and telling her thank you because she's the one who taught me how to do color and now that means I can teach them. Wait, who is them? Everybody who's watching! All of my peeps say, let's fire this baby up. I thought it. got beautiful cells in this. Beautiful cells in this. I'm going to do a little this way action first. Okay. Coming back at you this way, say. Oh, wow, that's scary. Too fast. Slow down. Am I driving too fast? Yes, but I want to go fast. No, slow down. Too fast? Too fast. You'll be fine, say. I don't like it. You'll be fine. I don't like it. You don't like it? No. I like it. No. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This is so beautiful. If this dries You're getting half, way too close to this other canvas. Sorry. Yeah, and I don't definitely do not want to drip this in the other canvas. You're over that other canvas now. Stop it. Happy? Mm-hmm. Very happy. That looks really nice. Mm-hmm. You're so talented. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. Beautiful. So the blue is more dominant in this one, obviously, but it is a matching set, and they are gorgeous. They do look really nice together. Starting the bid at $40. And once again, we've used two complementary colors and did not make mud. Um, can I get a high five? Bam! Good job. Yeah, you got paint on my hand. Yeah. How is that? Okay, so... Like, share, subscribe, leave us a comment. Everybody that watches this video needs to leave us a comment. Even if you hate our guts, we, we welcome you to leave us a comment. Um, and uh, don't forget about our live events on the weekends. We're going to cut those to an hour apiece so that they're not, so it's not such a marathon. Um, but, um, you know, just let us know what you want to see. If you've got a color um, that you're having trouble with and you want me to help you, you know, figure out how to mix it, send me a swatch from Pinterest. Send it to the email and Chase will put the email right here. And uh, if you want to participate in Fan Mail Friday, Chase will put the, the P.O. box right here. And one other thing, um, I need your guys' help with uh, if the lighting or something in the editing looks off or the quality is off, I need you guys to like say something so that I can fix it because I can't always I don't always pick up on stuff like that, like sometimes my lighting is way off. So I need you guys to inform me at the, with how everything looks and how the lighting is so that I can create a template that we use for editing. And if you're interested in these two pieces, they will be available for on purchase the on the live stream this weekend. So, there you have it. It's a perfect match. This is what we're going to do from here on out. You guys are going to learn how to make color. So thank you for joining our first episode of Color Theory. Until next time, thanks for joining us in the studio. Ciao! 
Teen Town Wavy about how wavy and flowy the grass is? The grass is always very wavy and flowy over here, Dice. What about it's, over here? It's, oh, it's even flowier. And it's like four or five, six feet tall, so it's like flowing over your head. Like amber waves of grain, except blues and corals. 